boys and girls, welcome back to math. My name is Miss Ryan and I teach at Rivermont Elementary. I am so proud of you all. You have been working so hard and learning so much. So before we get started, I just want you to give yourself a pat on the back. Awesome. You guys have been learning all different sorts of math skills. And today we're gonna get our math brain warmed up and we're gonna do that by practicing our counting skills. So I want you, before we get started, turn those brains all the way on. Perfect. Today we're gonna practice counting by tens to 100. We're gonna do it three times and we're gonna move our body with it. Are you ready? All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna count by tens to 100 and we're gonna touch our nose. All right, here we go, you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100! Awesome job! All right, this time we're gonna count by tens to 100, but we're gonna reach up high like we're stretching. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome job, all right. We have one more time we're gonna do it. This time, I want you to give some high fives, like we're high-fiving everyone together, okay? So we're gonna count by tens to 100, you ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Way to go, boys and girls. Is your math brain turned all the way up? Whew. All right, are you ready to get started with our lesson? Great, so let's look at our learning target today. All right, I'm gonna read it once, all the way through, and then we'll read it together. So our learning target today says, I can use objects and drawings to find numbers that make 10. All right, let's read it together. Repeat after me. Say, I can use objects and drawings to find numbers that make 10. Way to go, boys and girls. So we're really going to be looking at that number 10 today, okay? As we start investigating, we're gonna be using this tool. Hmm, does anyone know what the name of this tool is? Did you say a 10 frame? Awesome job, it is a 10 frame. Before we start using it, I want us to think, why is it called a 10 frame? Take a moment of private think time. Yeah, we kind of see that it looks like a bunch of picture frames, but if we were to count each box, there would be 10 boxes, right? So we use that to help us solve, awesome. So today, we are going to look at what numbers we can combine together to make 10. So I'm gonna show a number on the screen with a 10 frame, and we're gonna work together to see what numbers we can find to make 10. As we're doing that, we're gonna be filling out what I like to call a chart, a T-chart. So I'm gonna have and write out all the numbers together that we can make 10 with. Are you ready to get started? Alrighty, here's the first number. Oh, we have the number zero. So if we know that we have zero because there's no dots filled in on our 10 frame, how many more do we need to fill in to make 10? Right, we need to fill in 10 more. So the numbers zero and 10, if we put them together, it makes 10. Awesome, that one can get a little tricky. So let's look at our next number, you ready? All right, looking on the screen, what number do you see? Right, you see one. 
So right here, we see that there is one dot filled in. Very good. So how many more do we need to fill in until we make 10? We're gonna, remember, we're gonna count all the ones up that do not have a dot in it. Let's count them together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. So the numbers one and nine makes what number? 10, very good. All right, are you ready for the next one? Okay, here we go. What number do you see up on the screen? Right, you see two. How many more do we need until we make a 10? What are you gonna do to count them? Right, you're gonna count the ones that are in empty that don't have anything filled in. So we have two. And how many did you count? And eight, very good. So if we were to think about this, we know that two and eight makes what number? 10, great job. All right, here's our next one. Okay, take a moment of right think time and see if you can fill in the sentence. We, okay, did you say three? Very good, three, good job. And then how many are left? Yeah, it's seven. So we know that three and seven makes what number? 10, very good. All right, you guys are getting really good at this. All right, the next one, I want you to try all on your own, see if you can figure it out and how we could fill in our sentence. You ready? Oh, here's the next one. All right, what was the number sentence that you said? Did you say that four and six make 10? Oh my goodness, kiss your brains. So smart. So if you looked at it, you saw that there were four dots filled in. And then how many dots, dots needed, spaces needed to be filled in next? Right, six. So we read it, four and six make 10. Boys and girls, you are getting the hang of this. Here's our next one, you ready? Ooh. So, what number do you see on the screen? Right, we have five. Good. Then how many more do we need to fill in? Another five. So five and five makes 10. Very good, boys and girls. Hmm, what are you noticing on our T-chart? What are you noticing? Yeah, we're noticing that the numbers, how they're going. We have on this side, they're counting up. And on this side, they're counting down. Very good. All right, now as we fill out our T-chart some more, I'm gonna make a second one, just so we can really look. And I want you to see as we're working, if you notice anything as we look at the next groups of numbers. If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Awesome, all right, here's our next one. All right, it's the number six. Hmm, what could we say for our number sentence to make 10 on this one? Well, we know that we have six, right? And then we wanna count up those spaces that are not filled in. So how many more do we need to make 10? Right, we need four. So we have six and four makes 10. Very good. All right, I think you're noticing a pattern here. Let's see if you can do the next one. Take a moment, think about what two numbers we can put together to make that 10. All right, so what's our first number? Seven, very good, because that's what you see on the screen. And what else? Seven and 
three makes what number? 10, very good, seven and three makes 10. All right, we have just a few more. Here's the next one. All right, what would be our number sentence for this one? All right, did you say eight as our first number and two? Great job, yes, we see that there are eight dots in the 10 frame and there's two more spaces to be filled in to make 10. So we have eight and two makes 10. Awesome job. You guys are doing a great job. All right, if you are ready for the next one, touch your nose. Awesome. All right, here's the next one. What could be your number sentence for this number? Right, you see, there are nine filled in, so we're gonna put a nine up here. And then how many more do we need to make our 10 and fill in our 10 frame? We need one more. So nine and one makes what number? 10, very good, awesome. All right, here was, here's the next one, you ready? What would be our number sentence to make 10 for this one? Mm, this one might be a little tricky. Right, you see that there are 10 filled in. How many more do we have left that we need to fill in? Did you say zero? You are absolutely correct. So we have 10 and the number zero because there's no more that we need to fill in makes the number 10. Boys and girls, you did awesome filling out our chart and helping us remember. Kiss your brains. So proud of you. I always take a moment and look at our T-charts that we've made with the number 10. What are you noticing about the numbers? Last time you talked about how the numbers go count up and they count down, but when we look at both of them together, what are you noticing? I bet you're thinking, well, a lot of these are the same sets of numbers. They're just flipped, right? So if we look right here, we have two and eight make 10, but over here it's flipped and it says eight and two make 10. Does it matter which way that we flip them? No, we're still getting the same answer. Very, very good. All right. So now that we have found different ways to make 10, I want us to listen to some story problems and I need your help. Are you ready to help me? Awesome, all right, here's the first one, you ready? My mom needs 10 balloons for a party. She has seven. So how many more balloons does mom need to make 10? Hmm. That's tricky. I'm going to read it one more time and I want you to see if you can think. Really think back to what we did just a minute ago. Mom needs 10 balloons for a party. She has seven balloons. How many more balloons does mom need to have 10 balloons? Hmm. All right, she wants 10. So everyone hold up 10 fingers, okay? She has how many balloons already? Seven. So I'm going to take down seven of my fingers just to help me picture it. So I have five, six, seven. So how many more balloons does she need to make a 10? Ooh, our fingers tell us one, two, three. But let's double check and check back to our 10 chart, okay? I like to use this to help me. So she had seven. So I'm going to find the seven. And how many more does she need to make 10? Three. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, so, so smart. Now I have a challenge for you. If we were going to make an equation to match this story to help us figure out what could we write? Hmm. Well, we know that we can use this, the plus sign to represent the word and, right? So how many balloons did she have? 
She had seven. We don't know how many more she needs, but we do know that she's trying to make 10, right? So when we looked, we have seven. And what number made 10? Three. So your number sentence, if it was written as an equation, would read seven plus three equals 10. Awesome. Pat your back. You did a great job with that one. Are you ready for another story problem? All right, here we go. Ooh, this one looks a little fun. Tammy needs 10 hair bows to fix her hair. She has eight hair bows. Tammy wrote an equation to represent her thinking. It says 10 equals eight plus two. Hmm. Do you think that her equation matches? Listen to the story problem again, you ready? Tammy needs 10 hair bows to fix her hair. She has eight hair bows. Tammy wrote her equation to represent her thinking. Hmm, so she says that 10 equals eight plus two. Take a moment and look at our chart right here. Do you agree with a thumbs up or disagree with a thumbs down that this could be her equation? Are you getting a thumbs up? You're right. You are so correct that 10 equals eight plus two. Even though she wrote her 10 first, she knew that that was her hole that she wanted to start with. She had eight and she needs two more to make her 10. You are so, so right, boys and girls. All right, I have another story problem. Are you ready for it? If you're ready, give me two thumbs up this time. Awesome. All right, here's our next one. Michael needs 10 marshmallows for his hot chocolate. He already has four. How many more does he need? Take a moment of private think time and solve it. Really try to write an equation to match it. You ready for it again? Michael needs 10 marshmallows for his hot chocolate. He already has four. How many more does he need? Take a moment of private think time. Alrighty, are you ready for it? Okay, here we go. So, how many marshmallows did Michael want for his hot chocolate? He wanted 10. So that's what we've been looking for, 10. How many did he have to start with? Right, he had four. So I'm gonna write a four up on the board. So we know that we're trying to find our hole of 10. So we know one part, which is four. How can we figure out the next part? Right, you could use our chart that we made together. Very good. So if we know we have four, I'm gonna find a four right here. What two numbers do we put together to make 10? Four and six. Very good. So what symbol can we use to represent and? Right, the plus sign for addition. Very good. So we have 10 equals four plus six. Very good, boys and girls. Pat yourself on the back. You did an awesome job. So as we sit here and we think about our T-chart that we made and how we, the different ways to make 10, let's see if we can go through and we can write an equation that would match our number sentence. So I'm gonna say the number sentence and if you have a dry erase board or a piece of paper nearby, you can write out what the equations might look like. All right, I'm gonna give you just a minute. Are you ready? Awesome. All right, so our first one, we had zero and 10 makes 10. How could we write that as an equation? Hmm, right, we could say zero 
plus 10 equals 10. Very good. All right, let's look at our next one. The number sentence would read 1 and 9 makes 10. How would we write that as an equation? Did you say 1 plus 9 equals 10? Ugh, so, so, so smart. All right, here's our next one. It reads 2 and 8 makes 10. What would our equation be? Right, it would be 2 plus 8 equals 10. Very good. All right, here's our next one. 3 and 7 makes 10. What would our equation be? Right, it's 3 plus 7 equals 10. Oh, great job, boys and girls. You're doing an awesome job. Remember, we're always thinking about the ways that we can make 10 because it helps us become faster mathematicians when we're solving. Here's the next one. You ready? 4 and 6 makes 10. What would be our equation for that one? Right, we have 4 plus 6 equals 10. Very good. Remember that a plus sign represents and or addition. Very good. All right, here's our next one. You ready? It says 5 and 5 make 10. What could our equation be? Right, 5 plus 5 equals 10. Very good. Now, remember, this side, when we figured it out, it's just flipping the numbers, but we still get the same one. So, remember, we have 6 plus 4 would make 10. 7 plus 3 would make 10. 8 plus 2 would make 10. 9 plus 1 would make 10. And 10 plus 0 would make 10. Friends, did we solve and figure out the ways to make 10 today? Oh, we did. And it was super fun and super easy. I'm very proud of all the work that you did. Give yourself a big pat on the back. Kiss your awesome brains. Awesome. And remember, as you're working at home, show the people around you what you've learned. And I want you to continue growing as readers, writers, thinkers, and mathematicians. Have a great day learning, boys and girls. Today we're going to do a super quick karate workout. I got my robe belt here. I'm not actually a belt, black belt, so don't think that. We're going to be doing some awesome karate. So remember, be safe, spread out, and we're just doing this as a workout and for fun. So let's get kicking, pun intended. So stand in position like this, and we're going to just do some easy forward kicks. Nice and easy. Don't extend the joint too much. I don't want you hurting yourself. All right? All I want you to do, I want you up, I want you moving, and I want you having fun, all right? So nice and easy. We're not trying to destroy anyone on every single kick. We're just doing nice, easy kicks. Stop, let's do some side kicks. So we're gonna step, go to the side, Woo! Step, side, nice and easy, boom. Plant your feet, kick. Plant your feet, kick. You guys are doing great. Woo! You guys are gonna be karate masters in this three minutes. Well, I can't guarantee that, but you never know, all right? So keep going, nice kicks, nice, Kicks. All right, night. Next, get in a nice little squat right here. Get that bottom back. Arms out. We're gonna punch. Punch. Just like this. Nice and easy. So I'm doing a little squat every time. Woo. Now we're gonna get a little crazy in just a second. I'm gonna add a little knee to the to it right after the punch. All right. Keep it going. Nice and easy. Ready. Three, two. One knee. Three, two, one 
than me. Keep it up. You guys are doing great. I can already tell. You're going to be champs. You're going to be masters of karate. Keep it up. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to do a little block, block, just like this. Nice block. <laughs> Bringing your arm across, blocking that. All right? Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. You know Karate Kid. Come on now. What, that's from the 80s? That was a long time ago. Keep it going. Here we go. Nice. Next, what we're going to do is block, block, punch. Block, block, here we go. You guys are doing great. We don't have that much time left. I'm trying to teach you everything I know. Here we go. Keep it up. Woo! We got about 30 seconds left. You guys are doing great. Lastly, punch, punch, woo! Punch, punch, there we go. So alternating legs. Got 25 seconds. Keep it up. You guys are rocking it out. Woo! Man, I'm breathing hard. Here we go, one more kick. Now last, we're gonna do the crane pose. Go up on one leg, arms out like this, and you're gonna drive up, drive your knee up, and kick. Ready? Boom! See ya.